How's it hanging? Eh, can't complain. Just about to start work again. Waiting for my partner to show up. Vera from the DODA. We've detected a new fractured dimension. Great timing, as always. It's my job. Please review the coordinates that I've sent you. The rift appears to be in Duval. I look forward to hearing your report. They found a new one for you, huh? You gonna take the gig? I wonder what sort of dimension this one'll be. Trying to entice me into coming along, huh? <laughs> it worked. The Divergence Catalyst is supposed to be the thing in this world that differs most from our own. Let's see if we can track it down. So I'm actually doing pretty well in this world? <laughs> Gotta admit, I've got mixed feelings about that. seen before? I think we know what that is. Better not jump to conclusions. Let's find Jurgen and see what he has to say about it. Alvin? What are you doing here? Did you already finish the delivery? Yeah, about that. The delivery date's changed. Something about a scheduling conflict. Really? 
That's awfully sudden. Oh, isn't that Leia? What have you been up to? Oh, hey! You know, work and stuff. That reminds me. How's Isla doing? Pretty well, considering. Baby's doing great too, kicking up a storm. You're having a little baby? Wow! Thanks. I can hardly believe it myself. I tail it home already. I'll hold down the fort here. Your old lady's probably eating everything in sight. You're sure you can handle things? Trust me. I've got this. I'll check over the inventory and everything. You got the key? Ah, right. Here. And Alvin. Yeah? You're a good partner. Thanks. Nah, just thinking about the past. Are you okay? Couldn't be better. Except I feel like a jerk for lying to the guy. Yeah. Oh, is someone worried about me? Not if you're gonna make fun of me for it. Well, there's no point in you feeling down about it. Besides, we haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. This key is for a Helioborg storage facility. Helioborg? Lovely. Let's try not to get lost this time. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you around. Here, have this. I think you could make better use of it than I could anyway. Don't bother thanking me, just take it. I always look out for my friends. I still can't believe you're a businessman now. That's a pretty big transformation for a mercenary. Is it that much bigger than your transition from nursing assistant to journalist? So, let me ask you something. What is it that you find so appealing about your new occupation? Well, that's fine, just ignore my question. <clears throat> I would say it's being able to buy large quantities of merchandise cheaply. At the moment, you barely need to pay anything in tariffs. What do you think? Hmm, that's a designer brand scarf, isn't it? Not just the scarf, the shirt too. A good wardrobe is among a businessman's most powerful tools. Business tools, huh? I wouldn't know much about that. If you're gonna work here, you better learn about it. In Olympias, wardrobe is one of the topics in employee performance reviews. It's directly linked to your salary. You gotta be kidding me, seriously? Crap, I gotta get some new clothes. <sighs> <laughs> and the ability to lie convincingly is another of a businessman's most powerful tools. Julius of this world. Maybe they're just living out a normal life together. As long as we're here, want to check in and see? What are you doing home so early? Hmm? Well, this is an unexpected guest. Hey there. Sorry for just dropping in. Any friend of Luger's? So, business seems to be booming. Yeah, no complaints. Who'd have thought little Alfie cries a lot would become such a big deal? Little Alfie? 
cries a lot? The uh, come again? <laughs> Have you forgotten? You used to tell me everything. Of course, you were a lot littler then. I remember when Balin used to make fun of you for being shorter than all the neighborhood girls. Huh? He always had all the brains, even as a kid. I doubt you ever outwitted him. How? Sorry, gotta run. Catch you later, Alfie. Don't let Luger do anything I wouldn't do. What was that about? Heck no. We've never even met. Now that I think about it, when I was younger, this older kid used to babysit us. And he was always humming that song. Really? So your babysitter was Julius? Just because it was Julius here doesn't mean it's true in every dimension. But there can't be that many people who knew me when I was a kid. Wow. Can't say I expected this. Once again, for my own selfish reasons, I'm gonna destroy everything that matters to you. I'm sorry, Jürgen. Quite a haul. Someone's been busy. What are you doing? Back off! Hey, relax. What's the problem? The buyer never got his goods. Why, Alvin? Why did you lie to me? What were you thinking? It's just business, Jurgen. I'm sorry. <sighs> How can you do this so casually? Luger! 
stop! Why, Alvin? <clears throat> you traitor! I... Ah, found you. Oh, hey. What's up? Listen, about before. I'm sorry about what I said. I never meant to imply I don't trust you. Oh, that. I was kind of a jerk about it. Well, you weren't exactly wrong. It's true that I tell lies like it's no big deal. Um, Alvin... I was afraid it sounded like that. I'm sorry. Quit apologizing. Sorry. It's okay. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. I didn't mean to interrupt. Alvin... It's easy when I'm just telling people what they want to hear, but when I try to get along for real, I'm pathetic. You got the do-gooder thing going on too, huh? Guess I'll never escape getting pep talks from kids. Guess I'll just have to redeem myself the hard way. Through honest work. I don't have to hit it big from mining ore to make my business a success. Thank you. 